In the quiet town of Apemenyim, in Ghana's Ahanta West municipality, the hum of heavy machinery and the rhythmic clatter of construction have returned, marking a long-awaited revival of one of the Western region's most critical healthcare projects. After years of delay and uncertainty, the 250-bed Western Regional Hospital project has roared back to life under the leadership of President John Dramani Mahama. His visit to the construction site on October 21, 2025 was not just another ceremonial inspection. It was a statement, a symbol of renewal, and a powerful reminder of what commitment to national progress truly looks like. Before we dive deeper into today's update, take a moment to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Your support is key to helping us grow and reach more viewers like you. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on exciting updates. For many Ghanaians, the story of this hospital has been one of both hope and frustration. It was a project that began with great promise, but eventually fell victim to the familiar obstacles of funding shortages and stalled implementation. The skeletal structures, silent cranes, and empty foundations stood as a grim reflection of lost time and unmet needs. Yet, with Mahama's return to the presidency in January 2025 after a decisive electoral victory by the National Democratic Congress, a new chapter has begun, one defined by action, determination, and results. Today, the site that once stood idle now buzzes with renewed purpose. Workers move with urgency and precision. Cranes tower against the skyline, and the foundations of a modern healthcare facility are taking solid shape. The project has already reached an impressive 45% completion, featuring advanced groundwork such as concrete batching plants, basement retaining walls, and the skeletal frames of multi-story blocks that will soon house the hospital's wards, emergency centers, and diagnostic units. The transformation unfolding in Apamenim is not just about bricks and mortar. It represents a tangible commitment to improving the lives of ordinary citizens who have long struggled with limited access to quality health care. For years, the people of the Western region have relied heavily on the aging Effia and Quanta Hospital, a facility that has served the region diligently, but now faces overwhelming demand. With population growth and the increasing burden of both communicable and non-communicable diseases, the strain on healthcare infrastructure has become unsustainable. The completion of this new regional hospital promises to ease that burden creating a modern medical hub equipped with state-of-the-art facilities to deliver specialized services. It will serve as both a referral center and a beacon of improved healthcare standards, ensuring that residents no longer have to travel long distances to seek advanced medical care. President Mahama's visit was marked by more than just inspection. It carried deep symbolism. His administration has made, has made it clear that reviving stalled and abandoned projects will be a defining feature of his governance. These are not just physical projects, but embodiments of promises once made to the Ghanaian people. By bringing this hospital back on track, Mahama has demonstrated that his government's focus extends beyond politics. It is about continuity, efficiency, and the responsible completion of projects that were started for the good of the nation. In his own words, the revival of this project forms part of a broader vision to ensure that every Ghanaian, regardless of geography or income level, has access to quality health care. Behind this renewed effort lies a strategic approach to governance that combines economic reform with infrastructural rebirth. Upon assuming office in early 2025, Mahama's administration immediately faced the dual challenge of restoring investor confidence and stabilizing public finances. One of his first major achievements was renegotiating international financial agreements that had long constrained the country's ability to fund critical infrastructure. Um, through careful fiscal management and successful uh, creditor negotiations, his government unlocked the funds necessary to resume projects like the Western Regional Hospital, projects that directly impact lives and symbolize hope for the future. But the revival of this hospital goes beyond economics. It speaks to the heart of governance itself. Across Ghana, many communities have grown disillusioned by the sight of abandoned projects. Schools half-built, roads left incomplete, and hospitals standing as empty shells have too often become monuments to political changeovers. 
Muhammad's decision to prioritize the continuation and completion of such projects signals a deliberate shift in leadership philosophy. It reflects a belief that development is not about starting over with each administration, but about finishing what was started to serve the people. At the site in Apamanim, the sense of optimism is palpable. Local residents who once walked past the silent construction site with disappointment now watch with pride as the buildings rise once again. For many, this project represents more than just a hospital. It's a lifeline, a source of jobs, and a symbol of progress returning to the Western region. Hundreds of workers are currently employed on the site, ranging from engineers and technicians to masons and laborers. The economic ripple effect is already being felt with small businesses, food vendors, and transport operators benefiting from the renewed activity in the area. President Mahama's commitment to completing the project within the next 18 months has added a sense of urgency and accountability. His administration's renewed infrastructure drive aims to ensure that projects across the country, especially those related to health, education, and transportation, are not just revived, but completed on time and to international standards. The Western Regional Hospital stands as one of the flagship examples of this renewed national focus. The project's completion will mark a turning point in the region's healthcare landscape. Uh, the facility is expected to house advanced diagnostic equipment, modern surgical theaters, maternity and pediatric units, and specialized departments for internal medicine and emergency care. It will serve as a referral point for surrounding districts, effectively decentralizing medical care and reducing the strain on national hospitals. In essence, the hospital's establishment will redefine healthcare delivery in the Western region, making quality treatment accessible, affordable, and available to all. This project also fits seamlessly into Mahama's broader national agenda, an agenda centered on economic recovery and infrastructure modernization. His government has been working relentlessly to rebuild investor confidence, attract new partnerships, and reestablish Ghana as a hub for sustainable growth. From energy sector reforms to major road projects, the administration's emphasis on long-term impact has begun to reshape both the physical and economic landscape of the nation. The Western Regional Hospital, therefore, stands as a visible testament to this transformation, a real, measurable outcome of policies designed to uplift the country from the ground up. Beyond infrastructure, the revival of the hospital sends a strong political and emotional message. It reassures citizens that leadership can be both compassionate and consistent. It demonstrates that progress, though sometimes delayed, can always be reignited through determination and integrity. Mahama's decision to personally visit and assess the project signals hands-on leadership and accountability, a quality that resonates deeply with the Ghanaian public. As construction continues, expectations are high. The government's plan to complete the facility within 18 months places significant responsibility on contractors, engineers, and supervisors to maintain the current momentum. Yet, the atmosphere surrounding the project is charged with optimism. Each beam raised, each wall completed, and each piece of equipment installed brings Ghana one step closer to a stronger, more resilient healthcare system. The Western Regional Hospital Project also serves as an inspiration for other stalled initiatives nationwide. It illustrates how the right leadership and financial discipline can breathe new life into projects once written off as failures. In a country where the completion of major public projects has often been tied to political cycles, Mahama's revival strategy stands out as a blueprint for continuity in governance. It emphasizes that development should never be interrupted by politics, but rather pursued as a shared national mission. Moreover, the ripple effects extend beyond the Western region. The construction phase alone is stimulating local economies, creating jobs, and transferring valuable skills to the youth. Once operational, the hospital will require doctors, nurses, administrators, cleaners, and support staff, offering sustainable employment and strengthening the local economy for years to come. This is the kind of development that multiplies impact, improving not just healthcare access, but also livelihoods, confidence, and community pride. As the sun sets over the bustling construction site, the unfinished hospital stands as a metaphor for Ghana itself, a nation still under construction, resilient in the face of challenges, and guided by a renewed sense of purpose. 
President Mahama's visit was not the end of a journey, but the beginning of a new one, marked by determination to rebuild and deliver. For the people of the Western region, this hospital is more than a government project. It is a promise fulfilled, a hope restored, and a future reclaimed. When completed, the 250-bed Western Regional Hospital will not just be another addition to Ghana's healthcare infrastructure. It will be a symbol of continuity, leadership, and progress. It will stand as a reminder that even when development stalls, it can always rise again through vision and willpower. And as cranes move and workers labor tirelessly under the Ghanaian sun, one thing is certain, the story of Apaminium's hospital is no longer the one of delay and disappointment, but of revival and resilience. In the years ahead, when patients walk through its gleaming corridors, when new mothers cradle their babies in safe and clean wards, and when doctors perform life-saving surgeries using modern technology, the people will remember this moment, the moment when leadership turned promise into progress. This is more than a hospital being built. It is the rebuilding of trust, the renewal of faith in government, and the reaffirmation of Ghana's path toward a stronger and healthier future. And as President Mahama's convoy departed Apamenim that day, leaving behind the dust and noise of construction, the message was clear. The era of abandoned dreams is over. Ghana is building again. And this time, every brick laid carries the weight of a nation's renewed hope. If today is your first time watching this channel or you are returning to this channel for the exciting content, please subscribe to the channel for more educative and developmental projects across Ghana and Africa as a whole. Do you want to know about the state of a project in Africa? Then make sure to like and comment the name of the project you would like us to talk about and its current state.